Hello and welcome to this lesson. Today we will take a look at a beautiful gypsy jazz lick based on a turnaround. We will work on the song All of Me, but of course you can play this on any song that features a turnaround as we're going to see in a moment. But before we start, if you enjoy this lesson, I invite you to take part to a free 30-day trial of my Gypsy Jazz Guitar Makeover Coaching course. The course is a weekly uh, lesson on a different category of Gypsy Jazz Guitar playing every week. So we do uh, Gypsy Jazz chords, we learn licks, we transcribe solos, we learn standards, we learn the theory and much more. And you also get PDFs, learning resources, tasks to complete every week. You get a replay of the lesson uh, on Sunday in your inbox every week. So anyway, go take a look. It's a great course and you can join a 30-day free trial with no obligations at all. So let's start. <laughs> So today we're going to learn the lick, see uh, on which chords it can be used. Then after we learned it in depth, we'll see how to move it to different jazz standards and so on. So the lick is based on a turnaround. A turnaround in this case is 4 minor, 4 sharp diminished, 1, 6 dominant, and then 2, 5, 1. Which in the key of all of me, which is C major in this case, is going to mean F major, F sharp diminished, C major, which is the one, A seventh, D minor, which is the two, five, which is a G seventh, and one. This is a typical turnaround as we see in jazz music, right? This happens in, in many tunes, of course, in different keys. For example, if we were in the key of G, then we would have C major, C sharp diminished, G, E seventh, A minor seventh, E seventh, and G. But back to the key of C for all of me. Here's the lick. sounds on the song again. By the way, when it comes to right hand picking, this style of music, as you know, has got a very specific way of picking with the right hand, or if you're left-handed with the left hand, anyway, with your picking hand. There is a link above with a lesson I've made just to learn this way of picking, so please take a look at that if you need. Uh, and now let's dive into this lick. So I'm going to be starting with an F major arpeggio, starting from 7, and then sliding to 8 on the 5th string, then down a string 7, 10, then down a string 10, 10, and then 7, and slide to 8 on string 1. And then up a string. By the way, in the tablatures you can see the picking direction. As you know, when we change string, it has to be a downstroke again. But again, I've got a lesson for that, so please go and take a look if you need. So uh, on string 2, fret 10. And then up a string again on fret 11. And on the same string, fret 9. So from the top. A string 10 and then we go back we go back down the same way we we came up which means string 3 fret 8 11 then string 2 fret 10 then down a string fret 8 and then 10 this time then 12 8 and back to string two, eight, and nine. This is a C major arpeggio. Then back down, eight, eight, 12, 15. On this note, we are on A7. This is the, eight, the, the, the flat seven of A. Finish on E. 
And then what we do here is string 3 fret 10, string 2 fret 10, then same string fret 13, and 12 on string 1. Then fret 10 on string 3, fret 9 on string 2, fret 12 on string 2, and fret 12 on string 1. Then up to 15. 12, finish on 13 of string 2, which is a C note, the 1. To finish off, you can also play which is string 2, 13, 12, 10. Up the string for 12, 10, and then 8, 9, up to string 4, 8, sorry, 10, 9, 8, 8. So it's quite a long lick, take your time to learn it. One more time. I'll show you how it sounds after uh, playing a solo on the whole form of the song, just to finish off. And then I'll also show you how to practice it. So first, a quick solo on the song. But first, if you're enjoying this lesson, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel for a new video every week. So let's see a whole solo with a turnaround at the end. So a few ways on how to practice it. First of all, really work out how the lick is played slowly in your own time and also work out the right hand technique for this picking. For example, you play it slowly. Making sure every picking direction is in the right place. You know, your rest strokes, your down strokes are in the right place. And again, I've got a lesson about this. There is also a link in the description below. So once you have done that, I recommend you do it at 40 BPM. So I'm going to put my metronome on. 40 BPM is the speed that I always do. It really gives you more time to develop muscle memory if you play it slow. And you'll be able to play it fast later on. Also a great thing about 40 BPM is that it allows you to learn how to relax whilst you play. There's no rush, play it as slow as you can. Also what you can do after is move it to a different key. For example, if you were playing it, as we mentioned at the beginning of this lesson today, if we were playing it in a song in G, say for example, it had to be you does that, right? You can play the lick on there. So we're starting from C, the same exact thing. I 
because you move it to a different key is actually the same shapes. But because the frets change, right, also the visual reference of the dots change on the guitar, it's still great to do it in different keys to get used to different perspective. For example, in a, we can try it in, in the key of A, right, so that you start on, on fret 5. <laughs> And so on. So I hope you enjoyed this lick. Let me know if you liked it in the comments and also perhaps share a video of yourself playing it. Thank you very much for watching this. Again, there is a link in the description below to join a 30 day free trial of my Gypsy Jazz Guitar Makeover Coaching course. If you want to try the course and learn Gypsy Jazz Guitar with us, there's a great community there. It's a lot of fun and we learn a lot every week. So please join us for a free trial. And also please like this video and subscribe to the channel for a video every week. Thank you very much and I will see you soon for the next one. Take care.